In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to mine Iron Fish coin ahead of its mainnet release. So the mainnet release of this coin was supposed to happen on the 14th of March, but it's been pushed back to the 20th of April. However, we can set up mining for the mainnet so that you can start mining as soon as it goes live. If you don't know what Iron Fish is, then stick around till the second part of the video to find out more. So the setup for mining is very similar to other coins, but the biggest part of the setup is getting a wallet address. Now this is a bit more complicated as they don't have an official wallet application, so you have to run your own node and this in turn will give you a wallet address. Now I've already made videos about this and how to set up the node, and you guys can click the link in the description for an in-depth guide on the node setup. But they run through the setup here on the Discord, and I'll show you a bit more of what it looks like here. So you have to open and download the Node.js package for Windows and run through the install. My other video does cover this, the install of the Node.js package and the Windows PowerShell install. Once that's all set up, you can open up a new Windows PowerShell and just type in, as it says here, npm install dash g ironfish and then the actual version number. Then you click enter and it will install the correct version before the mainnet release. Now you have to have this version installed as it allows you to have a wallet address which can be used for mainnet. As you can see here, this is installing right by there. Once that is all done, we can actually see here that it's finished. And then it says for the second step in the Discord that we need to type in ironfish start and then two dashes and upgrade. It will then show the version status of the ironfish upgrade. So we have 0.1.70. So there it shows it that we have the latest version and we are all ready to get a wallet address for mining. So this is actually just their test net at the moment, but when it goes over to mainnet, this will actually be used as a wallet address, but all the coins that you mine on the test net won't be used right now. Now, if you already had an Ironfish node running in the test net, then you can just take the wallet address from there and start mining. So you actually need to update your test net node and then you can start using your wallet. But to get a new wallet address, if you're just downloading and installing this right now, you have to type in ironfish wallet and then a colon and then install. Hit enter and it will bring up your public address which is connected to your node. Now on the discord here, it shows you ways that you can actually secure your wallet and back it up if you want to. So you can export your private keys using the command ironfish wallet and then a colon export two dashes json. This will give you your private keys. Another way is to use your seed words using the same command as before, but we add two dashes. So we add two dashes and then mnemonic at the end. So take these and write them down somewhere safe. I'm sure that the Ironfish team will come out with a wallet application in the future. So we can use these seed words and private keys to import our wallets into those applications and start using the wallet from there. But now that we have our own wallet address, we can start to set up a minor file. If you had any problems with the setup of the wallet, leave a comment below and I'll try help you out. Or you can hit me up on Twitter and I'll try help you out over there. Now with the miner setup, we can use a miner that supports the same algorithm as Ironfish. This algorithm is the Blake3 algorithm. I'm not sure if all miners work, but a lot of miners should support the Blake3 algorithm because Altherium is a Blake3 coin and is used a lot. So today we're going to be using SRB miner and you can just download the latest version or if you have it installed already, then you can use an empty batch file. So the latest version already has a pre-made batch file here for Ironfish. All we need to do is just right click and edit the file. Now firstly, we need a pool to mine to. So hero miners already have a pre-made testnet pool that we can use for the testnet phase. And then when the main net comes out, it will switch over automatically. Right here, we have all the servers and ports, so we can use these whichever is the closest region to your miner right now. And I just want to mention at the top of the pool, it states that this is just a testnet pool right now. So the coins that you are mining will be burned when the mainnet releases. And it talks on the delays for the mainnet down to the 20th of April. But as we can see down here, they still have miners using the testnet, which is good as it keeps the network up and running and allows the developers to identify problems on the network before the release. So we copy our server and port that's closest and we paste it over the server and port in the batch file. Next, we need to get our wallet address. So if you don't have it open still, we can just open a Windows PowerShell again and type ironfish wallet colon address. And then it should give you your address. Just select this text here and then head back over to the mining file and paste it over this wallet text here. Then lastly, you can add a worker name to keep track of your mining. Simply exit out the file and make sure you save it. Then to run, you just double click the program and it should start mining the testnet. 
Now I think that they'll be coming out with some update from now until the mainnet. So keep your eyes out for that as it's probably going to be needed to allow miners and node operators to run Ironfish. Make sure you keep up to date by following the Ironfish Twitter as well as they are very active over there. So that's pretty much the whole setup for Ironfish Mining. Now I'll talk a little bit about what Ironfish is because some of you might not know. For a while Ironfish has been in a testnet phase where people would run nodes and mine on the network in a closed environment. This has been going around for a year now and is finally coming to their main net phase. They describe themselves as a privacy platform for Web3. So they're trying to create a coin that's focused on privacy. This could be used for many different reasons such as private donations to charity or something along the lines of that. Or it could be used to hide your money from external entities. So in their white paper they go over some main points of the coin and what it's aiming to achieve. So it says here Ironfish is a decentralized proof of work based censorship resistant and publicly accessible blockchain project. It's designed to support strong privacy guarantees on every transaction. Similar to how the invention of SSL in the late 90s paved the way for e-commerce and benefited countless industries. We believe that privacy is a fundamental requirement to protect our users and expand the use of cryptocurrency. We have designed Ironfish to be a new cryptocurrency from the ground up and to enable easy to use fully private payments by closely following the Sapling protocol. Every account is equipped with a view key to grant its holders read-only permission for the details of the account. With this protocol, we are challenging previous patterns of full node usability. The Ironfish networking layer supports WebRTC with WebSockets, making it trivial for all users to make a true P2P connection with no other setup requirements. Our first Ironfish implementation is built such that we can be extended to run a full node directly in the browser in future iterations. And our focus is to lower the barrier of entry so that any person with a computer feels comfortable enough to run a node. Now these last few sentences are really important because it talks about actually running a node from a browser. So normally nodes are run through command lines like we use to run Ironfish and get our wallet address. So it's interesting that they will eventually get to a point where anyone can run the node in a browser. This makes it way easier for users to start running nodes. The setup for a node is very complicated and could be very intimidating for new users. So if you can simplify this process, then it would encourage more use of nodes, which in turn would allow for more decentralization and more security from a network. We see coins like Flux who offer rewards for running nodes. This allows for more incentive for node runners and furthers the network, decentralization and security. So Ironfish definitely has the right idea to implement this type of node running. Lastly, there is an important note that I want to say for US users as the regulations behind the testnet airdrop needs to go through a KYC process. This is only for US based users and regulators are actually cracking down over there and they require you to know your customers before giving out crypto in an airdrop. For other countries, you should be fine. But as it says here on the website, they don't actually know if they're going to be able to give an airdrop to the testnet users in the US but they're still talking to regulators and it could go through. So if you're in any other country, you should be fine. But for US users, you actually have to go through KYC to actually be eligible to have an airdrop from the testnet if you did mine on the testnet. So that's it for the video. As I said, if you're having any problems trying to set up the miner, please leave comments down below. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more content like this.